So we're going to do the weights and measurements for this icosahedron part. And before you get started, it's always a good idea to make sure that you labeled your part. Because once you pour plaster over it, you may not remember what it is. Okay. So we need to figure out what type of flask we have based on the chart provided by the casting. Okay. So first we're going to measure the inside of our flask with a ruler. Boom. Right there. Four inches. And then the diameter is three and a half inches. Okay. So according to that, if our diameter is three and a half inches and our height is four inches, we need exactly two pounds of plaster and 364 milliliters of water. We're going to measure out the water. You want to make sure you have your bowl and it's clean and full. Okay. So we're going to have two bowls here, one of which is going to hold our water for pouring, and the other, which is going to receive our final, final volume. So 364 milliliters of water. So we're at 210, and that is 250, so 250 milliliters of water. 364 minus 250 is going to leave us with 114 milliliters of water left that we need. That's 110. And that is 114. Okay. So now that we have all of our water measured out, we need to get two pounds of plaster weighed up. Okay. This is a super clean method. So we've got our scale, which you can see here. I'm going to move our printed part away, leave our water adjacent to the scale. Now we need to add plaster until we reach two pounds, which is right here. Got our Tupperware full of plaster. We're just going to keep adding until we reach two. And even though the camera doesn't look like it's in focus, it's just the dust on the scale from years of use. So now we're at one pound. A little bit more. And you can't weigh, you can't measure powders by volume, right? Because they're fluffy and full of air. So you always do powders by weight. So we are at two pounds of plaster. We can put our metal scoop away. We can put our plaster Tupperware away, and we can actually take the bowl off the scale, which is already teared to zero. Set that to the side. And then what we should get, if this is done correctly, is a little tiny island that forms in the center of our part. 